Okay, guys, so I was actually planning on releasing uh, like a Master Raven video in between this one and my last upload. But for some reason, I was recording the video and I deleted all three hours of footage because the audio sounded like I was talking from inside of a can. So, yeah, that was very disappointing because I actually kind of like that video, but too bad it has to be benched. Like, it's not just a, a sound problem that's like, oh, that's... Yeah, that's pretty much watchable. It's like, it's literally unwatchable. It hurts your ears. Uh, but this is, this is not me talking from, from this footage, by the way. This is just a, like a voiceover. But yeah, I decided to scrap the whole thing. I guess it's a good experience because now I learned to always check my mic first before recording. But I just wish it didn't happen when I was recording for like three hours. Like 30 minutes, one hour, I would have been like, yeah, that's not a big deal. But three hours is like, fuck, dude. That's like a sizable amount of my day, dude. On f my, <laughs> my free time in general. And yeah, anyway, just, just wanted to get that out there. This video is not gonna focus on that. Instead, it's gonna focus on me trying out one-handed Tekken on keyboard for the very first time. And the controls I'm using should come up on your screen right now. Nothing really interesting here in my opinion. The only thing I changed was my movement keys, which was previously on W, A, S, and D. But now, as you can see, it's on 4, 5, 6, and 8. Most obvious reason being that it's the closest to my attack inputs. Though I also thought it was important to keep my movement keys on the right of the attack inputs. This makes it so that I don't have to move my hand all over the place. <laughs> Let's say my movement inputs were, were the arrow keys and my attack inputs were somewhere else. It's gonna be really hard to try and maneuver. You're constantly having to apply this adjustment to your hands and you don't want that. So. What you're seeing here is just some basic punish, well not not punish exercise, maybe it's just uh, it's learning how to get used to how your fingers are going to shift in between commands. You know, obviously one hand doesn't cover as much ground as two, so there's more movement involved. And if you're not used to that, then there's going to be a huge problem. This is about an hour into practice, so you'll see me doing combos here and there. Combos are the very first thing I decided to learn for this challenge. The reason being that combos are kind of just a bunch of inputs stitched together. If the first hit manages to connect, then as long as you know how to do the combo, you're not gonna mess it up. Whereas playing reactively where you have to do correct punishes, movement and poking is a different story. Granted, I can't do any of those well even with two hands, but... <laughs> The point still stands. But the good news is, we're playing Paul, which which dumps this challenge down by a significant amount because he has no complicated inputs and he has relatively easy combos in game plan. Uh, so I think he's the perfect character for this challenge. And there's no actual purpose to this video, I feel like. I feel like this is just something to kind of document the improvement. Obviously, I suck on, on this particular video, uh, but this is going to be a multi-part well, not multi-part video, more like a series of videos, and this one is just a small section of the practice session that I decided to record so I can pair it up with this voiceover. And for this one, I only decided to play on practice mode, you know, trying to get used to one-handed controls. I did play for another hour after this recording, and I also recorded a couple of AI matches yesterday, and I think it's kind of fun to see how to see how I played it out. There were a lot of dumb shit happening during those matches, so I can't wait to record matches that are actually against real players. My opponents probably wouldn't notice any difference. I'm not saying I'm gonna play it as if I'm using two hands, but I'm currently sitting on green rank right now, so to them I won't I won't see much different. But it'll be cool if we can get at least one win. I feel like that's the goal, you know? For the player matches video, if I win one game, <laughs> the video is over. It's done. It means we, su we succeeded. 
Anyways, this is uh, this is not uh, an actual video. This is just something I decided to record. More like a filler type of content before the actual video comes out. So, hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you later.